Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I think a uh, good question. I think we have to focus on that thing and uh, because as I said this is not accused because this is my second or third test series. Uh, I think uh, Tajul bowled brilliantly although he had a very good variation. They played very good because you guys know this pitch was very uh, flat on first day and still very on slow side. Uh, but give them a credit, they batted beautifully and I think those are the area where Bangladesh cricket we have to, as a, as a team, we have to improve as, as quicker as we can. I think I, I, I a little bit disagree with the lack of skill. Maybe patience level can be better. And I think, you know, like the test cricket is all about to understand the situation and play it according to the situation. And I think, uh, as you said, that 40 test match cricket is all about to surviving that period where the testing time comes. And I think uh, the guys, uh, first, especially Shada, uh, Shadman, he got very unlucky. You know, you guys know this and got the down the leg catch. But having said that, I think uh, those are the area where we have to improve as a team. As, this cricket is a funny old game, you know, like you got to do the basics right. I think the, it doesn't matter if you play 50 over or test cricket. If you do the basics right, understand the situation and condition and play according to the situation. And I believe that, you know, as the gentleman said early on, it's a belief. This game, life is all about belief. You know, when you believe in yourself, look, this is the way we can come out. This is the situation, maximum 10 over is going to happen. And this is the way I'm going to play. So I think those young people is learning. Zakar is very young. You know, Shadman is young. All those guys are young for me, you know, like as a, as a coach coming from, from broad. I think, I think those are the areas I said, you know, we have to improve. And uh, don't forget, you know, sometimes they did very well also in Pakistan series, you know, like when the things were not good. And they suddenly 26 for 6 and then they, they won the match. I'm sorry to repeat those things, but those are the evidence we have to, as a coaches, tell them, look, you can come back from nowhere and you got to keep believing and keep doing the skill level and, uh, and improve your skill level as much as you can. See, that's a very good question. Again, million dollars question. You know, cricket is all about to remember your process rather than outcome. So when sometime you achieve your goals or outcomes, you forgot the process. A good teams, good players do one good things consistently. They remember the process, how they win matches, how they score wicket, how they score runs and how they take wickets. So if that, that kind of... Um, uh, process as a coaches, this is our duty to be honest, to just keep reminding them, you know, like consistency only come if you, your basics and skill level is strong and your process are strong. I think uh, Tajul bowled brilliantly, let me tell you, I mean, he bowled very, he very his pace, which is a spin bowling coach, I'm very happy with him. Maras Mandi uh, uh, could actually bowl a little bit better because obviously his consistency was not there. Uh, for bowling good overs rather than good balls. So, Tajul was very, very good and uh, that's why he got wickets on even flat track. So, I think uh, as you said, you know, spinners, uh, maybe as, we, as you're talking about the fifth baller, but I think to uh, give them a credit also, you know, like they batted brilliantly on that pitch and they, they utilized, they had patience and we unfortunately, those are the things happen, you know, on those kind of condition, those are the, those kind of the pitches, you got to grab little chances. So early on we had the chances a couple of times, but unfortunately we didn't do that and, uh, and I think we just have to bat hard tomorrow and come back. It does, but that's not a professional team do should think. I think that's why a professional team, you know, like should come back and just work hard as much as they can. Losing four wickets, it's, it's not a big deal, but you know, like you don't think like that. That's why as, as a coach you think, hang on, whatever the situation is, you got to fight and you got to believe. I think they're young friend of me and you. <laughs> They are very young friend of me and you. I think you still look young, but I think friend of me, they're young. But I think you talk, I'm talking about international matches, not first class matches. First class matches, you can play 20, 30 or 50 uh, first class matches. International, camp, tem, international cricket is temperament is totally different ball game. You know, how many, how many people you see, I can name lots of international the game they played and they when they come back to international level they don't have that temperament so international temperament different temperament you needed to require and i as i said i am new in this with those guys but i believe let me tell you one thing even that situation i believe on them we believe on them we all believe on them they can be a very good team and they can challenge any time i believe that and you they the, the, the evidence is there 
I mean, you guys see that World Cup 2020, you see Pakistan series. The, I, we believe that. So it's just a matter of, you know, like consistency, as brother said, you know, like your consistency and process. If they can follow that consistency and uh, uh, process, I believe that the, the Bangladesh team got a very good, good, good team. I believe that. I think so. I believe so. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure about that. But I, I believe normally you take uh, night watchmen because of you would want to protect your main players. Because on that pitch, if somebody gets good partnership, you can go long, and you, we, we can see that. So I think that was the reason. Sometimes we just have to protect our main batters. I, I don't think so. There's a lack of confidence. I think that maybe, if I'll be very honest with you guys, maybe lack of uh, process. Test cricket pro uh, process. Process is, you know, understand the situation and uh, the, the, uh, the game environment, game awareness, I would say. Uh, game awareness, you know, like when to leave the ball, you know, like I have to play tight here, I have to see uh, this five overs, something like that, you know, that mindset. So I think that is the little things, but I don't think so they, they have a lack of confidence. They just have to understand the, the situation, what they're going through. So if they can understand quicker, and I believe that as coming back to again, believe that, believe that, believe that, they can learn that. Uh, another very good question, to be honest. You know, that's a very honest uh, question you ask. I think the process, can you grow a tree in a day? How would you do? Keep watering it, keep believing that as a gardener, that's what we have to do. And sometimes we have to believe that first. As a coaches, you know, like, okay, you can't grow a tree in a day. So, inshallah, this tree will sooner or later will show you how much they can give you a, a shade and fruit. I believe that.